and we made purchase orders, the first step in the process to buying the inventory, but one that doesn't actually have a financial transaction related to it. So typically when tracking the purchase orders, we do that internally. So, and that's normally done over here on the expenses side, because that's kind of like the vendor cycle. You've got your vendors down below. And if you wanted to see that, by the way, in the business view, that's going to be in the get paid and pay area. And then you got your pay area down below and the vendors that's where it's located there. And then if I close the hand boogie, you can search by the open purchase order. So there's five purchase orders. So then I can see the vendors that have the purchase orders and you can see the number of purchase orders here. Another place often you can go to in order to see the purchase orders. If I hit the hand boogie and we go down to the expenses and we go into the expenses tab, this is located a little bit differently in the business view. This item is in the bookkeeping area over here, bookkeeping, and then the transactions tab up top and then your expenses tab. So it's a little bit, little bit different uh, in the business view than you might originally expect as you're switching between the two views. So then uh, in here, you've got your expenses. If I close this up, you can filter then and possibly filter by your purchase orders. So we go down to the purchase orders and then you can have all your purchase orders or we can filter by the open or closed purchase orders. So if I go to the open purchase orders, they're all open at this point in time.